So when will Yellowstone National Park's next eruption occur? History provides a clue. People visit Yellowstone National Park every year to observe its wildlife and its many hydrothermal features. One question that comes to many visitors' minds as they traverse one of the world's largest active volcanoes is, when will Yellowstone's next eruption occur? When a volcano is dormant, this question can be answered by examining trends in monitoring data, such as seismicity, ground deformation, and gas emissions. But what about dormant volcanoes, like Yellowstone, that show no signs of becoming active anytime soon? For dormant volcanoes, we typically don't forecast an eruption date in the future, but rather the likelihood of an eruption occurring within a given time frame, say, over the next year or 10 years. It's like a long-range weather forecast, for example, estimating the likelihood that the upcoming hurricane season will have more storms than in typical years. To some extent, volcanic eruption forecasts rely on knowledge of the frequency of eruptions at a particular volcano. As an analogy, let's say you live next to a baseball field, and you want to know when a baseball is going to be hit in your yard. One way to predict this is to calculate the average recurrence rate by dividing the number of baseballs in your yard by the length of the observation period, say, one year, to get the number of baseballs in your yard per year. This average recurrence rate can then be converted into the probability of a baseball being hit in your yard the next day, week, month, etc. Similarly, forecasting volcanic eruptions requires knowledge of the number of eruptions that have occurred over time. Geologists accomplish this by combining geologic mapping with geochronology to determine the history of volcanic eruptions. Knowing the average rate of volcanic eruptions is just the beginning. Geologists also need to understand whether volcanic eruptions are one-off events that occur in isolation from other eruptions, or whether they occur in clusters as part of a larger volcanic event. Returning to the baseball analogy, since baseball is only played for part of the year, it is more likely that a baseball will be hit in your yard during the baseball season than during the off-season. Recent research suggests that many volcanic systems, including Yellowstone, operate in a similar manner, with several eruptions occurring in quick succession, separated by long periods of little or no eruption. To accurately predict volcanic eruptions, these clusters of eruptions need to be well characterized. 